while I sit in my morning biology class, learning about DNA replication. The headlines pop up. Six years left to save the planet from the irreversible effects of the climate crisis. Period poverty has surged across the nation in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, and women are 33% more likely to be talked over and unheard. While it seems like these issues are certainly portrayed in the media as undefeatable forces, as if the only way in which one can truly make a difference is by stopping the issue in its entirety. It's Generation Z who are looking at these problems from a different perspective, actively solving these global issues head on, defeating the undefeatable. Generation Z is the cohort born between 1995 and 2010. They've been heavily influenced by major events, cultural norms, and social norms. But unlike any other generation, Generation Z has grown up in a world of technological advances and innovations. My generation has never known a non-digital world. You see, we grew up with a phone in our hand and a digital camera in our face. And if I'm being quite honest, I likely learned how to type before I learned how to talk. With accessibility to an infinite amount of knowledge on a search engine and contact with millions of people through social media, the question comes down to, how can social media be used to mediate change on a global scale? We are a generation that no longer needs expensive resources to make a difference. We simply need our voice. A voice that can be amplified across the globe to millions of people at the click of a button. We now all have a platform to break through that echo chamber, bring attention to stigmatized topics, hear various points of view, and ultimately come together to make a difference. Through social media, people are more aware than ever. World issues meet everyone's social media feeds within seconds, and with likes, shares, and retweets, that information is known to millions of people worldwide. While one post may not single-handedly make a difference, it's the collective front of all those who learn about the issue at hand and work towards solving that problem that makes the difference. That power of finding community and reaching millions of people has already launched social movements, mobilizing our generation by inciting passion to create change. That power of finding community and reaching millions of people within seconds has already launched social movements, mobilizing our generation by inciting passion to change the status quo for the better. With accessibility to technology comes awareness, and with awareness comes action. And this action is a ripple effect. When one person speaks up, those around them learn about the issue and spread that message, increasing that awareness. The ripple effect continues as each new person is aware and now has the ability to take actionable steps to mitigate the problem. Whether that's rallying through protests contacting policymakers to enact legislation that will solve the root cause of the problem, or even by simply resharing the social media post. Instead of technology defining us, we are the first to redefine technology and utilize its power to create positive change. With more than half of internet and social media users under the age of 24, Generation Z has been at the forefront of initiating this change. The movement to combat the global climate crisis and slow global warming, the push for the removal of taxes when taking a stand against period poverty, and fundraising movements are just a few of the many social justice campaigns that started and grew through social media. From that growth, change was enacted. In 2018, after learning about the adverse effects of global warming, Greta Thunberg was able to utilize social media to reach tens of millions of people globally, to bring awareness to global warming, but also address policymakers to enact change to protect our planet. Back in 2010, after a devastating earthquake hit Haiti, the Red Cross organization was able to raise $500 million with the help of social media with over 2 million tweets spreading awareness about the earthquake and fundraising for support. 
On a similar journey, eight years ago, I visited New York City for the first time. From my view, I remember looking up at the buildings and wondering whether or not the people on the highest floor could see the clouds directly outside of their window. I recognized the duality of New York. As I had crossed 38th Street at the intersection, I noticed people laying on the ground, holding up a cardboard sign. Please help was labeled in thick lettering. I stared at the man as I stood with my family on the sidewalk, waiting for the pedestrian light to give us the signal to continue walking. I couldn't wrap my head around the fact that just blocks from this street where a poor homeless man stayed was Wall Street, where some of the wealthiest people in the world were. People sat unknowing of when their next meal would be, and they sat on the cold streets of New York alone, hoping that someone could help them. I went home that day feeling helpless. I gave the remaining change I had to that man, but it didn't feel like enough. From that point on, I refused to sit idly by as people undeserving of these harsh circumstances suffer day to day without the resources needed to survive. But at eight years old, I questioned what I could do to make a difference. I didn't have any existing fundraising experience or existing funds to start a campaign. All I knew was how to do and fold origami. Using the art of origami, I was able to fold intricate origami pieces, sell them, and donate all the proceeds to those who needed basic necessities. Art was my form of expression, and folding each origami piece was my token of appreciation to anyone who bought one, to show them that their money was going to be used for a great cause. Through social media, I was able to spread the word about my cause and my mission, and it resonated. Social media posts began to gain traction and people began to grow more aware of the poverty issues that were prevalent in not just the United States, but globally. I didn't realize it at the time, but I had found my voice that day in New York. A newfound passion to give back even when it seemed like all the odds weren't in my favor. I'd found my voice but it was social media that was able to build my confidence and prove to myself that I wasn't just an eight-year-old kid. My voice mattered, and it has the power to create substantial positive change. As I grew up, I came to understand the power of one's voice. I was lucky enough to find my confidence early on, but the odds for many people who look like me, who are women, and especially women of color, are discouraged to speak up. I made it my mission to amplify the voices of the leaders around me who are part of those marginalized groups, who are advocating and initiating change on a global scale. In a world that suppresses the voices of so many women, it's so important that we change that narrative. And it was so important that I use the voice that I have to speak up for those who can't. Although we're making progress, the gender gap in leadership roles and the discouragement to speak up that women face is far too large to be ignored. I created She the Change, a podcast dedicated to highlighting those female leaders who are part of marginalized communities to support their voices and encourage podcast listeners to start their own initiatives and take actions against injustice as well. People have the means to use their platform and technology to share their story. But we live in a system where the voices of women and underrepresented groups aren't kept in mind, which is why it's so important that we need to change that reality and start those conversations now. Empower the people around you. Utilize the platform you have to initiate that change and inspire yourself to kickstart your confidence. Those headlines I had read earlier, they've changed. 18-year-old Greta Thunberg speaks to lawmakers to implement policy to combat climate change. 23-year-old Nadia Okamoto tackles period poverty and addresses over 1.5 million periods. And 16-year-old Itasha Danthi works towards changing prevailing power structures of marginalized groups. Generation Z is defeating the undefeatable. One rally at a time, one post at a time, one voice at a time, and you have that power too.